Rock'em Star graduates, congratulations! Super excited for you, what a big day. Okay, it's huge. Now, I'm gonna say this, I have a daughter that's graduating this year as well, and you know what? It's not the same. It's not traditionally what we think a graduation is, and that's a bummer, but at the same time, you guys are freaking rock stars for getting through this pandemic, and you're graduating. So what a great accomplishment! Yeah, I We're mean, super proud of you. It's it's awesome. And generations from now, I know it's not like I'm 100. <laughs> they're gonna look back at you guys, and they're gonna go, "Holy smokes! Look what they did! Look how they managed to get through! You did it! You're rock stars!" Now they asked us to come up with one word that got us through the pandemic to this point. Uh, mine is giggle. Oh. When all else fails find something to giggle about. Interesting. See, mine would be family, because I think no matter what we're all going through, family, and I would say people that you choose to have be your close people, let's put them in the circle of family as well. They get us where we need to be. They're for each other, right? So, family. Awesome, congratulations. Enjoy your big week. Sometimes it's like a week party, right? Let's make it a month. Yeah, go crazy. Yeah. Have some fun. <laughs> and make sure you listen to Star 98.3. Shameless plug, have to do it. I know. Congratulations on your grad. We love you guys. Equialt. Good evening and welcome to the 2021 GW Graham Secondary School Commencement Ceremony. My name is Paul Bernard, and I have the honor of being your Master of Ceremonies this evening. Please join me in welcoming one of our 2021 grads, Redmond Roberts, as she will be acknowledging the traditional territory on which we are privileged to live, work, learn, and play. Hello everyone, my name is Redmond Roberts and I am from the Chiactin First Nation and I would like to acknowledge that we are on the unceded territory of the Stalo Nation. And I'd like to congratulate all of the graduates on this amazing occasion. Kwas hoi. Thank you, Redmond. Before we begin our program this evening, I would like to acknowledge our distinguished guests who are joining us for tonight's celebration. Please welcome our Board of Trustees, Board Chair Trustee Willa Reschelt, Board Vice Chair, Trustee Jared Mumford, Trustee Karen Bonder, Trustee Daryl Ferguson, Trustee Heather Moss, Trustee Barry Newfeld, and Trustee David Swanke. From the School District 33 Executive Team, Interim Superintendent of Schools for the Chilliwack School District, Mr. Rohan Arul Prograsm, Assistant Superintendent, Mrs. Paula Jordan, Assistant Superintendent, Mr. Kirk Savage, and Director of Instruction, Mr. David Manuel. We are honored to have you here to join us this evening. Whether we are seated together in an auditorium with thousands of other people, or as in tonight, virtually from the comfort of our own homes, celebrating with close friends and family, we are still coming together as a school community to honor this year's graduates. Our grads have navigated what has been one of the most difficult school years in recent memory. They have met every challenge with patience, grit, resiliency, flexibility, and perseverance. Not only is this evening a culmination of everything that has been accomplished and overcome this year, but also marks the end of a long journey that started some 13 years ago. Grads, tonight you are partaking in a modern rite of passage which honors a transition to the next stage of your life, whatever that may be. I encourage you to take it all in, cherish these moments, and build those memories which will last a lifetime. At this time, Please welcome Grace Redmond to the stage. Grace is one of our GW Graham senior music students, and tonight she will lead us to the singing of O Canada. O Canada, our home and native land, true patron love in all of our command with glowing hearts we see thee rise the true nor strong and free from far and wide oh canada 
We stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Thank you for that beautiful rendition, Grace. To address the graduating class of 2021, please join me in welcoming our interim superintendent of schools for the Chilliwack School District, Mr. Rohan Arul Progasm. Good day. We are privileged to meet on the Stolo unceded traditional territory of the Palaut and the Chilliwack tribes. It's my sincere pleasure to bring greetings and to offer congratulations to the graduates from the leadership team at the Chilliwack School District Board Office. It is an honor and privilege to say a few words to the graduating class of 2021. And before I address the graduates, I want to take this opportunity to thank the many organizations and individuals who have graciously provided funding for scholarships and bursaries to the students at GW Graham Secondary. A sincere thank you. Know your impact in the lives of our young people. Know that their kindness and generosity makes a difference. I also want to take this opportunity to thank families, teachers, EAs, other support staff, and your school admin team who have supported you during your learning journey in Chilliwack and have pulled together to see you through, especially this past year. This has been a challenging year, and I know they have done everything possible to ensure we keep our schools safe and to make sure we have continuous face-to-face -face instruction. Now to the graduating class of 2021. This is the second year of the pandemic. I know and understand your disappointment for not being able to rejoice with family and friends after commencement. But be reassured that when most of the population is vaccinated, you will once again get to celebrate with your family and friends. Most important is the memory of your lived experiences through this pandemic, what you did to progress through this time. My message today is a simple concept that all of us can comprehend and a concept most have mastered, the science of achievement and the art of fulfillment. Our life is controlled by one force only, the decisions we make. The decisions we make control us much more than the conditions we meet daily. One of the greatest motivational factors in the world today is making progress in our personal lives. Change around us is inevitable, but progress in our lives is dependent on the decisions we make. Fundamental key to success in life is what you believe is true for yourself. Now what you want, now what you desire. These are your standards or your blueprint in life. The strongest force in the human personality is to stay consistent in how we define ourselves. So for example, if you define yourself as an athlete, then you consistently work hard to meet that standard. Rafael Nadal is regarded as the greatest clay court tennis player of all time. I recently watched a show on 60 Minutes on how hard he works daily to maintain this standard to be the best in the world. I'm sure you can think of countless number of people you know that work hard to maintain the standards they define for themselves. So when you decide what is most important to you and you define it and you become super clear of your goals laser focus, your brain goes after it. I call this raising your standards. So students, remember, the events in our lives do not control us. The decisions we make do so. 
To change results in your life, you need to change behaviors. To change behaviors, change the emotional state you're in. To change the emotional state, change your focus. To change your focus, change the questions you ask yourself. Remember, when you tell yourself you're not good at something, ask yourself the question. When did you define the limitations in your life? Limitations in your life are artificial barriers you have created for yourself. There's nothing you cannot do in life. The key to making progress, no matter the goal, is simply deciding to take action based on a clear goal or a target. When you raise your standards, all of your shoulds become musts. Finally, students, to ensure you master the art of fulfillment, keep a grateful journal of five things that happened today and in the days to come that you are grateful for. It will begin to change your perspective of your day and your life. If you learn to focus on what you have, you will always see that your universe is abundant. So be grateful and keep a journal. In closing, congratulations, GW Graham Secondary Class of 2021. We are so proud of you and your accomplishments. Here's wishing you the very best in life as you continue to master the science of achievement, balance with the art of fulfillment for a happy life. Thank you. Thank you for your message, Mr. Arul Progasm. We would like to take a moment to acknowledge the trustees who make up our Board of Education. Thank you for your continued support of our staff, students, and school community. With a message from the trustees, it is my pleasure to introduce the Board Chair of Ann G.W. Graham's School Board Liaison, Trustee Willa Reschelt. Hello, everyone. On behalf of the Chilliwack Board of Education, I want to congratulate each and every member of the GWG Grad Class of 2021 for getting to this point in your educational journey. This has been a challenging year, and I know this is not the way you had envisioned marking the end of 13 years of edu education. I am so impressed that you have persevered through the unique circumstances of this school year. Your ability to adapt and your willingness to try new things will serve you well throughout your life. To all of the parents, guardians, and other family members who are watching this recording and celebrating this milestone in these students' lives, thank you. They would not be here without your support and encouragement. There's a line in a song by Cheryl Wheeler that says, life is short, but the days and nights are long. And I think that perfectly sums up these past 13 years. I'm sure there have been days along the way of making school lunches, helping with homework, and driving kids to before and after school activities that you felt would never end. And yet somehow, simultaneously, in the blink of an eye, they're all grown up and ready to head off to lives of their own. I know this is a bittersweet moment, but look at them. You did such a good job. I also want to say thank you to all the staff members who nurtured these students from kindergarten through grade 12. Your dedication has paid off and these young people are ready to go out and face the world. Now I have a few brief words for you, graduates. A lot of you have had a rewarding and successful high school experience. Use what you've learned from your time here as a jumping off point for a fulfilling and successful life. Your high school year should be the start of bigger and better things rather than the pinnacle of your achievements. There are probably some students crossing the stage who didn't have an ideal high school experience. I'm so impressed that you stuck it out anyway, and I want to tell you that you can move on and create a great life. If you regret not putting more effort into your schoolwork, all is not lost. Work for a few years and then apply to college as a mature student. If you felt like you never quite fit in, now is your chance to find your people. A lot of very cool adults were not popular in high school. What can make you feel odd as a teen can make you a trendsetter as a grown up. All of you graduates are embarking on the next phase of your life. Some of you already have a plan and others are still trying to decide what to do. My advice is that in order to be happy, you need to find something you're passionate about. If you are attending post-secondary, you can make any area of study into a career. Follow what you love. The same is true for the trades. If you truly love your job, it doesn't feel like work. Some people find their passion outside of their career and that's okay too. Your goal in that case is to get a job that gives you enough income to support your passion. To all of you, I hope you find a way to explore the world outside of Chilliwack, either by going to school in a different city or by doing some traveling so that you can expand your thinking beyond our city. 
However, I also hope that after exploring the world, many of you choose to make Chilliwack your home. We need our bright young people to stay here and enrich our community. We also want you to eventually raise your families here so that your kids can attend our schools. Congratulations once again and best wishes for next year and beyond. Our next musical selection is performed by the grade 12 vocal jazz students as a tribute to the class of 2021. I'm living right here and now and I don't want to miss out. This is what life's all about. The world is calling and I'm listening. And I'm listening. I feel the freedom inside. Come on, let's go for a ride. I finally open my eyes and I can see it so clearly. So clearly. Thank you to our vocal jazz students. What we are fortunate enough to witness is a testament to the talent of our students and the strength of the music program at GW Graham, a truly moving performance. Our next speaker is no stranger to the staff of students at GW Graham. 
His positive energy, steadfast leadership, and inclusive demeanor is an inspiration to all of those who know him. Please join me in welcome Mr. Chuck Lawson, principal of GW Graham Secondary School, for his address for the graduating class of 2021. Parents, grandparents, family members, school trustees, senior administration, staff at GW Graham, and the class of 2021. Practice, not the game, not the game, not the game, practice. We're here talking about practice. That's a frustrated, brief quote from a frustrated Allen Iverson back on May 7th, 2002. Allen Iverson and his team, the Philadelphia 76ers, had just been knocked out of the playoffs, the NBA playoffs. Allen Iverson was the franchise player. He was known as the answer. And that night, he was not the answer. And he was frustrated. He had to face reporters after the game. As they asked him questions, he said the word practice 22 times in a very frustrated manner. So I apologize, Mr. Iverson. I do want to talk about practice. You see, at GW Graham, before the pandemic, right here in this very theater, we were on our game. We were on our game as a school. We had the Chilliwack Lions Music Festival in here, and we had performances where we got gold standard after gold standard. The weekend before, we were at the Langley Event Center, and our senior boys basketball team had won the triple, AAA Boys Basketball Championship. We were so excited. We came back on the Wednesday and we brought the whole school into the gym and we celebrated with 1,200 students and 100 staff. Everybody came into the gym. Little did we know that was going to be our last large gathering. As I fast forward to the beginning of this school year, I want to thank the graduating class of 2021. I want to thank you so very much for being outstanding leaders and helping us all nav navigate these challenging times. You were the ones that I feel it was the most difficult for. But what I saw were students that put their chin up and did their best and saw the positives and made things work out. You could have put your chin down and just try to ride it out, but you didn't. And I recommend as you move forward in your life, whatever those challenges may be, keep your chin up and embrace every day as an opportunity. We practice health and safety practices. We practice physical distancing. We had doors for you to go through. We had separate lunches, we had masks wearing, we all practiced health and safety for the good of ourselves and our friends and the entire school community. So when I think about your success, it was fun. I, I thought about this graduating class and it's a unique class for GW Graham, one we're so very proud of. It is the largest class in the history of GW Graham. This is the first group where the Mount Celestia students and the GW Graham students came together as one and we have 316 students graduating. Historically, we've had about 150 students who graduate. So this time, I thought about this collective group. We have 316 unique paths to get to where you are today. But overall, when I thought about the class, I thought about some themes, some themes that stood out that resulted in your success. I saw passion, a passion for learning. I saw kindness, kindness for others. And I saw hard work, rolling up your sleeves and hard work. So as I think about passion, a passion for learning, I could give so many examples. But I can reference a couple gentlemen from the graduating class. They've worked for the last year and a half on a movie. They've been working on this close to about the time when the pandemic started. And they were putting so much time and energy into it. The other day I was walking to the class with one of the students and he told me, he said, you know, Mr. Lawson, it didn't even feel like homework. It did not feel like homework. We were enjoying it so much. And that's exactly where we want to be. It's not about the homework. It's not about the letter grades or the percentages. It's about the process. It's about the experience. In the director's preview, there's a quote where they said, it was a long journey and I wouldn't want it any other way. It was a long journey and I wouldn't want it any other way. It was one of the things that helped them get through COVID because they had that passion together. So for all the students in the graduating class that you know your passion and you've been feeding that passion, good for you. Keep on feeding it. For those who you do not know your passion, that's fine. That's all right. But keep searching. Keep searching until you try more experiences. And when you hit it, you will know. So for again, students who you know your passion, feed it. The students who do not, search it. Kindness. Kindness and generosity. Kindness is woven through the fabric of G.W. Graham Secondary School. I commend the original staff of G.W. Graham Secondary. When they came together, they said, 
we are gonna have giving back to our community, part of GW Graham Secondary. And they came up with an idea of take action days where classes would not be happening, but students and staff would come together and take on projects and give back to our school, give back to our community and give back globally. Again, due to the pandemic, the last couple of years, we were unable to do our take action days. But what hit me, what I love about this graduating class was the adults stopped organizing events, but you didn't stop. You were the ones that kept with your kindness and your generosity. And it could have been as simple as a senior student mentoring a younger student on their writing because one day that student wants to write a book as well, editing and editing and editing. Could have been as simple as math groups, again, helping younger students with improving their numeracy skills. Or it could have been some of our clubs, our GSA, that took on the diversity pillar that is symbolic of inclusion for our entire school. It could be the Kiwanis Key Club students that at Christmas handmade Christmas cards to give to first responders and some staff that don't get recognized as much at our school. Kindness and generosity. As you move forward, remember that when you're facing your challenges. Because you did it because that's who you are. And you didn't do it because of thank yous, but I do want to say thank you. Thank you for your kindness. And it does get reciprocated. We are extremely fortunate. Thank you to our scholarship and bursary donors for, for supporting our graduate students and supporting past graduate students at GW Graham Secondary. This year, we have over $500,000 awarded to our graduating class in scholarships and bursaries. Well done, graduates. Congratulations. And thank you, scholarship and bursary donors. Hard work. Yes, hard work. Roll up your sleeves and face it. And I saw it. We came up with an idea of an octet system and that worked, there were some strengths and some challenges. There was some classes, it could be in a wood shop or a foods classroom where it worked out well. There were other classes where there was five weeks and there was a lot to cover. And the way we had to get through it was you had to roll up your sleeves and work hard and you did. For example, our AP chemistry class, they've been doing chemistry all day, every day. And then in the evenings, their teacher, Mr. McGregor, offered optional tutorial sessions and optional tutorial sessions on the weekend. The students would work all day in chemistry, go home and have dinner and come back here and do more chemistry. They'd practice their questions, practice their tests, practice their labs together, practice, 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 and experiencing the chemistry. It wasn't so much about the final exam as it was about the journey. So well done. Graduating class of 2021, if you face first future challenges similar to this with your passion and your kindness and hard work, you will succeed. Class of 2021, I challenge you over the next two or three weeks, think past even the pandemic, go right back to kindergarten. Think about your journey through school. And when you think about it, you're not sitting here alone or sitting alone at home right now. You're with friends and family. And when you're celebrating, I want you to think about all the people that supported you throughout your journey in your education. It could have been a teacher, an education assistant. It could have been some friends. Could have been family members or community members. Maybe it's a soccer coach or piano teacher. Over the next two or three weeks, I challenge you to find those individuals and look them in their eyes and just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the support. In closing, I'd like to leave you with a quote from Wab Kinu. Wab Kinu is one of the strongest Indigenous leaders in Canada. He is an honorary member of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada. Wab Kinu says, we have a choice in life. We can choose how we are gonna behave. We can choose to reflect positives or to be lost in the darkness. Choose to reflect positives or to be lost in the darkness. Class of 2021, you definitely reflected the positives and you were leaders for our entire school. And the way I look at it, this practice is coming to an end. This practice is coming to an end and it's game on. In the words of John Fogarty, he would say, put me in coach, I'm ready to play today. Class of 2021, you are ready today. Class of 2021, thank you for representing us so very well, and I wish you all the best in the future. Take care. Thank you, Mr. Lawson, for your heartfelt and inspiring words. During this difficult and unprecedented year, you've been a foundation of positivity and motivation for the GW Graham community. For that, we thank you. 
Many of our students' post-secondary goals may not have been realized if it was not for the support of the scholarship and bursary donors. Your generosity and commitment to students within School District 33 has played a significant role in supporting our graduates' transitions to life after high school. I'd now like to welcome Victoria Higgins to the stage to give a heartfelt thank you to all the scholarship and bursary donors that have helped students realize their post-secondary goals. Good afternoon, everyone. Today marks the beginning of our future, a future that may not have been possible without the help of our amazing scholarship and bursary donors who have so kindly given us all their support. Given the world's current state due to the COVID-19 pandemic, many students and parents have lost jobs. Donations from scholarship and bursary donors have helped families in more ways than what is describable. Thank you to all the donors for your generosity, which has allowed many students, including myself, to pursue their academic goals. It is both an honor and a privilege to have your support for all my fellow students and I continuing our academic journey. Thanks to you, we are all one step closer to achieving our dreams, whether those dreams be pursuing further academics, working in trades, or pursuing careers. You have given not only students the opportunity to pursue a further education, you have also provided parents with support so that they can send their children to a post-secondary institution with less financial stress. You have given families the opportunity to give their children the education that they both want and deserve. Without your donations, some of us may not have been able to continue our education at a post-secondary institution. Thanks to all your support, GW Graham's graduates of 2021 all have an equal opportunity to pursue our dreams. To this, we are so grateful for you. Donors have provided scholarships and bursaries to students who do not just exhibit brilliant academic achievement, but to students who excel in other areas of interest as well. For example, sports, such as GW Graham's own football stars, and the arts, such as our amazing actors, artists, and film crews. Because of this, all students who wish to apply for a scholarship or bursary have an equal opportunity in obtaining one. No student is left out. Your acknowledgement towards the vast variety in student strengths and interests <laughs> illustrates that you donors are truly here to support us as students and each of our individual goals. To that, I am filled with the utmost gratitude towards each and every one of you because you have donated to help young adults like all of us here continue moving towards our aspirations in life. On behalf of all of us students here at GW Graham, a big heartfelt thank you. Thank you, Victoria. Many of you would agree that our parents and guardians have played a significant role in our lives. As a child, they are our cheerleaders, heroes, and someone you can count on when you need help. We are defined by the lessons they teach us and the knowledge they pass on. As we get older, they become our mentors and support team when things get tough. One day you may take on this role and be that someone to somebody else. We owe our parents and guardians a debt of gratitude for everything they've done for us. Tonight, I ask you, the graduates of 2021, to take a moment and let those special people know how much they mean to you. This evening, Izzy Vlasic and Abe Buchanan will be presenting a tribute to speech to the parents and guardians of the graduates of 2021. Hello, everyone. We are so grateful to be able to address you today. When I think about all of us moving into the next chapter of our lives, I think about how big today really is for everyone. Students moving to the next chapters of our lives and all of you watching your children grow into adults. I realized recently just how much all of us have accomplished over these past few years. Our class has overcome so much and we have some very important people to thank for helping us through this last year and all of its unexpected changes. When we were in the process of writing this speech, 
it was very important for us to be able to acknowledge that not everyone has your average run-of-the-mill family, that, and that many of us have a support system that looks very different. We all have people who brought us up, whether it be our biological parents, step-parents, grandparents, foster parents, adopted parents, or caretakers, and the list goes on. I want to thank each and every one of you. All of you have pushed us to achieve our dreams and strive for so much more than we ever thought possible, whether it be college, travel, or whatever it is our hearts desire. You have prepared us to overcome any obstacles that we, we may be forced to face, and this year has been a prime example. You were our first teachers, steps and words, all the way to algebra, maybe with a little bit of a fight. You are our role models. We look to you for the image that we may someday want to incorporate into our own adult selves. You are our biggest cheerleaders. Whether we win or lose, rain or shine, you are there to cheer us on without fail. Driving us to every practice, rehearsal, and study group, you watch us win all of our games, get the lead in our play, and ace our exam. Or remind us to walk tall even if we didn't think we can anymore. Because working hard, doing our best, and having fun are the most important things. This endless support is the most amazing thing we could have asked for. Promoting our growth, sometimes without us even knowing it, or in ways we, didn't, we aren't necessarily too excited about creating a safe place for us to test our boundaries and helping us work through any problems if those tests fail. I owe everything to my parents. They have steered me in the right direction from day one, keeping me in check. They pushed me to be a better person every day and without them, I would be so much different. They have been my constants, my shoulders to cry on and someone to share my burdens with. I love them with all my heart, and I know my fellow graduates feel the same for each and every one of their parents. Personally, I was blessed enough to be raised by four fantastic individuals. Not only my parents, but my step-parents as well. My biological family and a close-knit community of people whom I consider my chosen family also had an unmatched impact on who you see standing before you today. These people have pushed me to grow, adapt and strive for more than I think I'm capable of. Even in the hardest of times, they stand by me. I really do believe it takes a village to raise a child and none of us would be up here today without all the people we consider our families. You don't have to birth a child to hold the role that is biologically bestowed upon them. Sorry. Bestowed upon those blessed to have kids of their own and walk by their side. You just have to care, to love, to support, and to accept us at our best and at our worst. Create space for us. Teach us how to think, not what to think. Give us tools to aid us when we are on our own. I believe that if you are hearing this speech today, then one of us in this class has chosen you to be our guide through all the craziness growing up. Thank you for showing up in our lives. And so as we go on into our next chapter, I have a few things to remind you with. First thing is that you are all appreciated greatly, even if we as teenagers don't always let you know it. Another thing is that we are going more confidently into our future with the tools that you've given us and the support that you've shown. We're no longer in high school, so that means no more curfews. Izzy Naden, your kind words have filled the hearts of all the parents and guardians joining us tonight. Thank you for your message. I am sure you've all heard the ancient proverb, it takes a village to raise a child. I believe this to be true. Consider the countless number of people we acknowledge this evening and the role they have played in helping our graduates reach this important milestone. It is truly a communal effort, with each group contributing to guiding, nurturing, and in preparing our students for the next step in their lives. Foundational to this village analogy is the GW Graham staff, their unwavering dedication, 
endless support and countless hours of commitment to our school community exemplifies what it means to be a Grizzly. For the tribute to staff, I introduce you to Kaylee Holford and Michaela Stoltz. Comfort, passion, joy. All things that come to mind when I think of you, the staff here at GW Graham. As I stand here in this theater, I am reminded that this is the first time I've been on stage here performing as myself. Without the relentless encouragement from you, I may have lost motivation for the arts many years ago. The art departments have been a place of comfort for many students at this school. Whether you're teaching an eager crowd a new song, surrounded as you demonstrate a new painting technique, showing the class how to use the new DSLR, or directing the most brilliant plays, you do it with your whole heart. And when you love what you do, we can tell. The passion that you have for your field does not go unnoticed. Through your captivating stories and brilliant lessons, that passion is passed down to us. Because of you, we have found the things that make us happy. Because of you, we have found new ways to express ourselves. The joyful, joyful atmosphere that you flooded your rooms with left a lasting effect on every one of us. Leaving your classes with a smile was a daily occurrence. From the annual trips to Idaho, the Abbotsford Drama Festival, the Reach Gallery, and the Chilliwack Student Film Festival, you have blessed us with so many exciting opportunities. As I was writing this, I was subconsciously reflecting on all the amazing memories that you've created for us over the years. And that's all that high school is going to be from now on, memories. So thank you for making ours some of our absolute favorites. Years from now, when someone asks what high school we went to, they get to watch our faces light up as we reminisce on some of the greatest days of our lives. So thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you for making our worlds brighter. Thank you for making us smile a little wider. And most importantly, thank you for teaching us that it's okay to just be ourselves. GW Graham is so much more than just a school. It's a community. A community that's made by the environment its teachers and students strive to create. Every member of the Grizzly family contributes to the heart of this place, and it is for that heart that this time can be remembered. Thank you to the teachers and coaches who create the important connection between staff, student, and school. Thank you to the teachers and coaches who support, encourage, and challenge your students on a daily basis. Thank you for the extra time you stay to help us, for believing in us, and pushing us past what we may perceive as limitations, but are rather just obstacles. You shape our paths, our mindsets, our goals, and aspirations with the lessons and knowledge you impart on us. Thank you to the Graham teachers and coaches who care for us all, not just in the classroom, but as individuals, and see us not just as who we are, but as instead who we can be. It is your perseverance, even in the face of the tougher days, and the effort you put into guiding us towards success that makes every difference. This year, more than ever, thank you for relearning everything in order to teach us something. Thank you for attributing a malleability to education in, order, in this unprecedented time that is beyond the reaches of expectation in order to preserve as much of this grad class this year as could possibly be. Thank you for the insight, the discussions, the feedback, the questions asked and answered. Thank you for showing up and leading by example and forming classrooms into safe places to exist and learn not just the curriculum and the facts about the world, but our places within it. Thank you for taking us into your work family and listening and hearing us as we develop our own assertions and perspectives and learn to present those shifting pieces of ourselves. Thank you for taking us through high school and seeing us to the other side of it. For knowing we could get there, no matter what this year threw in our way. To each department, no matter what element you teach, thank you for allowing us places of self-discovery and different outlets for our own fears, feelings, and determination, for working tirelessly to shape each aspect of this learning environment into a place not just to come, but to grow. Thank you to the teachers and coaches who days, whose days are never done and who are on the sidelines and the front lines cheering us on. Thank you for everything we don't thank you for and everything we do. GW Graham, teachers and coaches, thank you for being you.
Thank you, Kaylee and Michaela. I believe that I speak for the entire staff at GW Graham when I say it's been a pleasure to support the graduating class of 2021 over the years. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now the time we'd all been waiting for. Please join me in welcoming Mrs. Christy Cotu and Mr. Chuck Lawson to the stage to begin the presentation of the class of 2021. Drew Bennett. Drew says, I enjoyed my time at GW Graham Secondary School. I would like to thank my parents, brother, and my teachers for helping me finish school. I also enjoyed making lots of friends. Drew Bennett. Riley Downer. Riley thanks his friends and family for helping him get through school. Riley Downer. <laughs> Alex Faylauer. Alex would like to thank his friends, family, and teachers for making him who he is today. Alex Faylauer. Valerie Grenier. Valerie would like to thank her family, friends, and Carrie for helping get her through school. She hopes that she will get to do some drama and ceramics in the future. Valerie Grenier. <laughs> Liam Kerrigan. Liam thanks his friends and family for the support and Mr. Bootsma for telling him, get to work. Liam Kerrigan. Nathan Larson. Nathan looks forward to pursuing a career in the trades and would like to thank Mr. Bootsma for encouraging him to always be his best. Nathan Larson. Brendan Lee. Brendan would like to thank his parents, teachers, and friends for the support. He plans to specialize in construction and start his own business. Brendan Lee. Ethan Leyland. Ethan intends to get his Bachelor of Arts degree in History at UFE leading to his dream job of becoming a history teacher. Ethan Leyland. <laughs> Liam Riel. Liam would like to thank every person that has helped him grow and become a better person. Liam Riel. Tony Barbera. Tony thanks his friends, family, and Mr. Fultz for always pushing him to do his best. Tony Barbera. Cade Bartell. Cade intends to study audio engineering and music production and looks forward to a long career in this industry. Cade Bartell. <laughs> Dylan Beauchamp. Dylan thanks his family and the entire theater department, especially Mr. Fultz, for all the support over the years. He looks forward to a career in the acting industry. Dylan Beauchamp. <laughs> Anthony Benson. Anthony intends on going to the University of Victoria in order to get a Bachelor of Science in Astronomy. Anthony Benson. <laughs> Sam Boucher. Sam wants to thank the entire theater department for making his school experience amazing. Sam Boucher.
Gracie Bright. Gracie plans to travel and enjoy life, and then she wants to attend business school somewhere along the way. Gracie Bright. Dylan Brooks. Dylan will be pursuing an NCAA scholarship while playing junior A hockey. He thanks Mr. Abraham and Miss Goss for their support. He also gives a very special thanks to his parents and says, I love you so much. Thanks for everything in life. Dylan Brooks. Aiden Buchanan. Aiden would like to thank his parents for always pushing him to be the best version of himself. Aiden Buchanan. Phoenix Chapman. Phoenix plans on continuing making music and films, and he gives a special thanks to his mom for all her support in life. Phoenix Chapman. Julian Clark. Julian is excited to be finished school. They would like to thank their grandmother and parents for all their love and support. Julian Clark. <laughs> Jamie Craven. Jamie thanks her family and friends for helping her become who she is today. Jamie Craven. Morgan Fedorku. Morgan thanks his family for supporting his journey throughout school. Morgan Fedorku. <laughs> Lauren Fraser. Lauren intends to get her Bachelor of Science degree in chemistry. Lauren Fraser. Malone Hansen. Malone plans on going into film production, and she would like to thank her family and friends for getting her through life. Malone Hansen. James Hansky. James's goals are to achieve a bachelor's degree in criminology, to further his goals, and eventually join the police force. James Hansky. Seth Harder. Seth intends to get his Bachelor of Science degree in Chemical Engineering at BCIT. Seth Harder. I would now like to welcome Miss Amanda Goss to the stage to read the next set of grad anecdotes. Victoria Higgins. Victoria would like to thank her parents for always inspiring her to do her best and to never give up. Victoria Higgins. Aiden Imakiri. Aiden would like to thank his parents for always supporting him and pushing him to be more. Aiden Imakiri. Josh Cardo. Josh would like to thank his parents for their support, inspiration, and for always believing in him. Josh Cardo. <laughs> Yuri Katayama. Yuri plans to pursue her career in UBC in science. She wants to use her experiences in Canada for her future in Japan. Yuri Katayama. Clay Kurtz. Clay is attending UFE on a basketball scholarship and would like to thank his family and friends who have helped him along the way. Clay Kurtz. Jack Lee. 
Jack intends to get his Bachelor of Applied Science degree at UBC, leading to his dream job of being a mechanical engineer. He would also like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for their continuous support. Jack Lee. Love Lee. Love would like to thank each and every of the teachers who stepped into her life and made her high school year unbelievably amazing. Gracias. Love Lee. Haley Lisk. Haley would like to thank Mr. Holford for always helping and believing in her, as well as Ms. Bergeron for all the good times and laughter. Haley Lisk. <laughs> Braden Malnick. Braden would like to thank his pops and the old lady for giving him a roof over his head, as well as Nanny and Jimbo Slice. Braden Malnick. Arsh Panag. Arsh is going to be attending Thompson Rivers University for her Bachelor's of Science degree in nursing, leading to her dream job as a neonatal nurse. Arsh Panag. Robin Pearson. Robin plans to pursue a career in literature as an editor or an author. Robin Pearson. <laughs> Curtis Penner. Curtis is the valedictorian of the graduating class of 2021. He thanks his parents and grandparents for teaching him the value of a good work ethic. Curtis Penner. <laughs> Layla Pupik. Layla will be taking a year off to travel before getting her real estate license. Layla Pupik. Alana Purdy. Alana intends to get her Bachelor of Arts degree at UFB, leading to her dream of teaching in Germany. Alana Purdy. Jaden Ramlochen. Jaden would like to thank his parents and grandparents for supporting him throughout the years. Jaden Ramlochen. Sayer Redden. Sayer plans on going to university to study chemistry. He would like to thank his family for all of their support. Sayer Redden. Grace Redmond. Grace would like to thank Mr. Monkman for inspiring her to pursue her passion with jazz music at university, leading to her dream job of being a high school music teacher. Grace Redmond. Nathan Ross. Nate plans to continue his graphic design career and get his master's degree. He thanks his family, Mr. Florizone, and friends for all their support. Nathan Ross. <laughs> Chase Russell. Chase plans on pursuing a career as a video game designer. He thanks his family and friends for making school a little more bearable. Chase Russell. Cedra Samimi. Cedra plans to attend Youth FB to obtain a Bachelor of Kinesiology degree. Cedra Samimi. <laughs> J. 
James Schmiedel. James thanks his families for supporting his musical passions. James Schmiedel. Andrew Smith. Andrew intends to get his Bachelor of Science degree at U of X, leading to his dream job of being a physician. He would also like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for their continuous support. Andrew Smith. <laughs> Demaya Sparvier. Demaya would like to thank her friends and family for their love and support. Demaya Sparvier. Michaela Steves. Michaela would like to thank her teachers, particularly Ms. Cotu, family and friends for always supporting her on her journey. She is moving back to New Brunswick and opening a yoga studio. Michaela Steves. <laughs> Carter Sweet. Carter plans to get his Bachelor of Education and fulfill his dream of becoming a teacher. Carter Sweet. <laughs> Teresa Tao. Teresa would like to thank her teachers, parents, and peers for all the support they have given her. Teresa Tao. <laughs> Julia Tukshirer. Julia will be attending the University of Fraser Valley as a student athlete pursuing a Bachelor of Science degree. She would like to thank her family, teachers, and coaches for supporting her along the way. Julia Tukshirer. <laughs> Daniel Walker. Daniel would like to thank his friends and family for keeping him motivated and excited. Daniel Walker. <laughs> Zevan Whitbeck. Zevan would like to thank Stacy Whitlam for all her help over the years. Zevan Whitbeck. <laughs> Kira Wolbeck. Kira has been accepted into the Bachelor of Science and nursing program and hopes of becoming a pediatric nurse. Kira Wolbeck. <laughs> Rhiannon Zavers. Rhiannon is excited to be done high school and looks forward to her post-secondary adventures. Rhiannon Zavers. I would now like to welcome Mr. Tyler Dick to the stage to read the next set of grad anecdotes. Shahad Albadran. Shahad plans to follow in her parents' footsteps and pursue a career in pharmaceuticals. She wants to thank her teachers for supporting her through all her years of school. Shahad Albadran. Avery Anderson. Avery plans to get her Bachelor of Kinesiology degree at UFE, leading to a career as a chiropractor. Avery Anderson. Lori Belanger. Lori thanks Miss Lumsden for helping and pushing her to graduate when she felt like giving up. She'll never forget you, Miss Lumsden. Lori Belanger. Callum Bresden. Callum plans to learn computer science and strives to create a positive impact with technology. Callum Bresden. Madeline Brown. Next year, Madeline plans on attending the University of British Columbia to study pharmaceutical sciences. 
Madeline Brown. Dylan Carter. Dylan is looking forward to fighting forest fires this summer before heading off to university in September. Dylan Carter. Alex Charlton. Alex would like to thank Mrs. Willock and Mr. Price for supporting him and making his grad year a great one. Alex Charlton. Taylor Colby. Taylor thanks her family, friends, teachers, and coaches for always being there to support her. She will be studying creative writing at Capilano University. Taylor Colby. Josh Coleman. Josh wants to thank his teachers for all their support and believes that this is the beginning of a new chapter. He intends to get a Bachelor of Arts degree in History at UFE. Josh Coleman. Dana Dirksen. Dana would like to thank all of her teachers for their support and her parents for telling her that she matters. Thank you. Dana Dirksen. Amanda Duan. Amanda plans to attend UBC to complete a Bachelor of Commerce degree and specialize in marketing and finance. She would like to thank her teachers and families for supporting her along the way. Amanda Duan. Robin Duanel. Robin loves working with children and is looking forward to a career in childcare. She thanks all the staff at GW Graham for their support in guiding her studies. Robin Duanel. Tina Ferguson. Tina would like to thank Auntie, Frenchie, and Randy for teaching her the value of hard work and determination. Tina Ferguson. Brad Gaffari. Brad intends to pursue automotive studies at UFE to gain his red seal. Brad Gaffari. Wyatt Gundrum. Wyatt plans to take some time off after high school to work before going to UFE to pursue a career in architecture. Wyatt Gundrum. Rosie Guzek. Rosie intends on getting her Bachelor of Arts degree and pursuing a career in law. Rosie Guzek. Riley Inch. Riley intends to get his Auto Service Technician Certificate from UFE in the upcoming year. Riley Inch. Lisa Coppy. Lisa would like to thank her parents for their inexhaustible support and Mrs. Kotu, Mr. Symington, Mr. Abraham, and Miss Sager for being the best teachers she could have ever asked for. Lisa Coppy. Josh and Joe Carr. Josh and Joe would like to thank all the teachers at GW Graham for always helping and inspiring her. Josh and Joe Carr. Holly Kemp. Holly plans to get her Bachelor of Science degree at UFE and pursue a career in medicine. Holly Kemp. Ethan Mazarin. Ethan plans to go to the University of the Fraser Valley to become a psychologist. 
Ethan Mazarin. I would now like to welcome Mr. David Shinnis back to the stage to read the next set of grad anecdotes. Carmen Midgick. Carmen intends to get her Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology at UBC, leading to her dream job of being a forensic psychiatrist. Carmen Midgick. Dylan Myers. Dylan thanks Mr. Greenfield and the whole athletic department for making his passion for sports stay alive. Dylan Myers. Amisha Narula. Amisha plans on completing her Bachelor of Science degree in biology at UFV to go on to medical school. Amisha Narula. Evelyn Ortiz. Evelyn says, thanks everyone. We G now. Evelyn Ortiz. Jordan Powell. Jordan intends to get his Master's of Science degree in psychology at UBC, leading to his goal of becoming a clinical psychologist. Jordan Powell. Benjamin Penner. Ben is excited to spend less time on homework and more time focusing on his interests, of which he hopes to eventually make into a career. Benjamin Penner. Liam Perry. Liam would like to thank his parents for all their love and support as he opens up a new chapter. Liam Perry. Joseph Pierce. Joseph thanks his mom for putting up with him for 17 years. Joseph Pierce. There you go. Nikolai Romanchik. Nikolai would like to thank his teachers and parents for always being there when help was needed. Nikolai Romanchik. Shanur Rana. Shanur would like to thank each and every teacher and his friends who taught him well to work hard and always believe in himself. Coming from a different country was difficult, but these years and these people made it easier for him. Shanur Rana. <laughs> Danny St. Dennis. Danny is excited to be done high school and start their post-secondary life. Danny St. Dennis. Aaliyah Tabakal. Aaliyah plans to complete the HCAP program and work with the elderly in care homes. She thanks all of her teachers at GW Graham who have helped her throughout her high school years. Aaliyah Tabakal. <laughs> Eliza Telford. Eliza will be attending Carleton University and get a Bachelor of Public Affairs and Public Policy Management, leading to her goal of holding elected office. Eliza Telford. <laughs> Rachel Trevitt. Rachel would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers for their constant support and for believing in her. Rachel Trevitt. Kimberly Van Delft. Kimberly gives special thanks to Alana Purdy for being there for her throughout high school during both the good and tough times. Kimberly Van Delft. <laughs> Lee. 
Logan Van Zandt. Logan says, thanks, Mom. Logan Van Zandt. Leo Vergara. Leo intends to get his Bachelor of Arts degree in Criminology at UFV. Leo Vergara. <laughs> Mia Wheeler. Mia plans to study political science at the University of Victoria. She thanks her family, friends, and teachers for supporting her along the way. Mia Wheeler. Hannah Williams. Hannah will be attending Thompson Rivers University to study social work. She thanks her friends and family for constantly cheering her on through her entire educational career. Hannah Williams. Samuel Woods. Samuel thanks his teachers and family for helping him along the way. Samuel Woods. Taylor Wright. Taylor plans to attend UFV in the fall as she decides on a career path. She would like to thank her parents for their support. Taylor Wright. Caden Yake. Caden would like to give a massive thank you to his mom, dad, and both of his step parents. Caden Yake. Devin Engstrom. Devin is excited to be done school and start a new chapter in his life. He thanks his teachers and friends for helping him along the way. Devin Engstrom. I would now like to welcome Mr. Tyler Dick to the stage to read the next set of grad anecdotes. Lawson Allen. Lawson says the best way to predict your future is to create it. Lawson Allen. <laughs> Wea Armistead. Wea is planning on getting a visual arts diploma at UFE and then getting her Bachelor of Visual Arts degree somewhere else. Wea Armistead. Kaylee Barrering. Kaylee plans to attend the University of the Fraser Valley to pursue a career in dental hygiene. She'd like to thank her parents and teachers for helping her get through the ups and downs of her memorable high school experience. Kaylee Barrering. <laughs> Megan Beanie. Megan intends to get her degree in psychology at UBC. Megan would like to thank her mom for always being the support she could lean on. Megan Beanie. <laughs> Catherine Bennett. Catherine would like to move to Newfoundland and pursue a career in forensic sciences. Catherine Bennett. Riley Bickley. Riley plans to go into animation. She would like to thank her friends and family. Riley Bickley. Bronson Bitterlich. Bronson is glad to be done school and thanks everyone who helped him along the way. Bronson Bitterlich. Matthew Blackburn. Matthew thanks his family and friends for all the memories and for supporting him throughout the years. Matthew Blackburn. Rebecca Bugner. Rebecca is passionate about helping people 
and wants to go to university to be a counselor. Rebecca Bugner. <laughs> Olivia Buckingham. Olivia would like to thank Mrs. Sagert for always encouraging them to do what they love. Thank you for putting up with me every year. Olivia Buckingham. Katie Burgess. Katie plans to attend a hairdressing program and earn her red seal. Katie Burgess. Benjamin Reeder. Ben would like to thank his parents and teachers for preparing him for a future beyond graduation. Benjamin Reeder. <laughs> Kennedy Campbell. Kennedy thanks her mom and dad for always supporting her. Kennedy Campbell. Kyle Chug. Kyle says, it's always family before friends because true friends become family. Thank you mom and dad for always being by my side. I wouldn't be where I am today without you. Kyle Chug. <laughs> Hannah Craig. Hannah would like to thank her family and teachers for supporting her throughout the years. Hannah Craig. Tess Croucher. Tess plans on getting her early childhood education certificate and working in elementary schools. She thanks her family and friends for their constant support throughout high school. Tess Croucher. Rhiannon Darren. Rhiannon would like to thank Mr. Holford for helping her through the school years and pushing her to succeed. Rhiannon Darren. <laughs> Bailey Douglas. Bailey intends to pursue her Bachelor's of Fine Arts Visual Arts at UFV leading her to achieve her dream of being a graphic designer. Bailey would like to thank her parents, grandparents, and Mrs. Sager for their constant support. Bailey Douglas. <laughs> Ella Duncan. Ella plans on becoming a high school social studies teacher. She says, high school is temporary, swag is forever. Ella Duncan. Jackson Easton. Jackson plans on getting his Bachelor of Engineering degree in Electrical Engineering at UVic and wants to design synthesizers for musicians. Jackson Easton. Landon Estabrook. Landon intends to pursue his lifelong goal of joining the RCMP. Landon Estabrook. Vince Ibardalaza. Vince would like to thank his family, teachers, coaches, and friends for the support given to him throughout high school. Vince Ibardalaza. Kaylee Jeppy. Kaylee will be attending Trinity Western University in the fall to complete her Bachelor's of Science degree in nursing, leading towards her dream job as a perinatal nurse and midwife. She would like to thank Kathy Wiseman for being her biggest support and outlet for success through high school. Kaylee Jeppy. <laughs> Alex Jordan. Alex intends to study geology in the future, 
in hopes to pursue a career in that field. Alex Jordan. Ava Copy. Ava will be attending UFE in September to study sciences. She thanks her teachers, family, and friends for their endless support. Ava Copy. Maddie Napton. Maddie intends to get a secondary education in animation to further pursue becoming an animator. Maddie Napton. Meadow Kulik. Meadow thanks Mr. Holford for always being there for her through thick and thin. Meadow Kulik. Megan Lane. Megan would like to give a shout out to Monkman for proving buying your teacher coffee can get you out of anything. Megan Lane. I would now like to welcome Miss Christy Cotu to the stage to read the next set of grad anecdotes. Emma Lynn Larson. Emma would like to thank her family and favorite teachers. You know who you are. Emma Larson. Sienna Laszlo. Sienna would like to thank her parents and Mr. Holford for always pushing her to succeed. Sienna Laszlo. <laughs> Nigel Little. Nigel intends to get his Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology at UFE in order to become a mental health counselor. Nigel Little. <laughs> Owen Malto. Owen intends to get his Bachelor of Science degree in applied biology at UBC, leading to a career as being an agrologist. Owen would like to thank his mom and dad as well as Mr. Alexander for being an absolute beauty. Owen Malto. <laughs> Jordan Mansfield. Jordan intends to complete her undergraduate studies at UFE. She then plans to attend Vancouver Island University's dental hygiene program, leading to her job of being a dental hygienist. Jordan Mansfield. <laughs> Paris Mastin. Paris intends to get the prerequisites at UFE to apply for the dental hygiene program at VIU. She is thankful for everyone who has supported her and wishes best of luck to all the other graduates. Paris Mastin. <laughs> Henry Miller. Henry thanks all of the people who never gave up on him and taught him to always take a break once in a while. Henry Miller. Andrew Monroe. Andrew thanks GW Graham for all the opportunities that school provided him. Andrew Monroe. Taylor Nicholson. Taylor would like to thank her parents for teaching her the value of hard work and determination. Thanks for always believing in her. Taylor Nicholson. Reese Nikiforic. Reese would like to thank his parents, Mr. Pasterchik and Mrs. Cotu, for showing the value of hard work and shaping the future of education. Reese Nikiforic. <laughs> Jacob Olson. Jacob would like to thank his parents for everything they've ever done for him. Jacob Olson. Kiana Perrins. Kiana would like to thank her parents for always sticking by her side and being supportive no matter what. Kiana will be attending UFE in the fall for her Bachelor of Arts degree. Kiana Perrins. <laughs> Cole 
Colby Pickles. Colby is planning to take general studies at UFE while he decides what avenue he wants to pursue. Colby Pickles. <laughs> Brett Purdy. Brett intends to continue searching for career opportunities in order to reach his full potential. Brett Purdy. <laughs> Matthew Roberge. Matthew would like to thank his parents for always supporting him and trying their best to get him out of bed on time. Matthew Roberge. <laughs> Madison Savard. Madison thanks her tutor, Sarah, and Mr. Holford, whose belief went above and beyond to ensure her success. Madison Savard. <laughs> Jalen Sawatsky. Jalen looks forward to completing a Bachelor of Science degree and traveling the world. Jalen Sawatsky. Bryn Steele. Bryn plans to attend an art institute in order to pursue a career in fine arts. She thanks her family and friends for all their support. Bryn Steele. <laughs> Michaela Stoles. Michaela intends to receive a Bachelor of Arts degree at UFE. She will then enter the film industry as a writer and director. Michaela thanks Mr. Fultz for everything he's done for her over the last six years. Michaela Stoles. Kelsey Troche. Kelsey plans on completing a fine arts degree with the hopes of to pursue a career as an art director or in media. Kelsey Troche. Aaron Trong. Aaron truly appreciates everything good that's ever happened to him. Aaron Trong. <laughs> Elise Vlasic. Elise hopes to earn her teaching English as a foreign language certification in order to travel the world to teach. She wants to thank her family for all the support that they have given her. Elise Vlasic. Jackson Webster. Jackson thanks his parents and teachers for helping him and supporting him all the way through high school. Jackson Webster. <laughs> Chloe White. Chloe thanks everyone who has supported her throughout high school and she intends to become an educational assistant. Chloe White. Scott Williams. After graduation, Scott plans to travel for a year. He would like to thank his mom for pushing him to get his work done so that he could graduate. Scott Williams. <laughs> Lena Woodrow. Lena would like to thank Ms. Cotu, Ms. Vandersloos, and Catherine Fair for helping her through her high school years. Thanks for never giving up on her. Lena Woodrow. Portia Zacharias. Portia will be following in her father's footsteps and studying to be a lawyer. Portia Zacharias. I would now like to welcome Mr. Matt Holford to the stage to read the next set of grad anecdotes. Noah Baker. Noah thanks all of his teachers for being so great, caring, and helpful. Noah Baker. <laughs> Ella Bate. Ella would like to thank her parents for helping her to believe in herself and keep pushing forward one foot in front of the other. Ella Bate.
Charlie Betts. Charlie thanks his parents who have supported him through all his good and bad days. He is grateful for his wonderful friends and will miss school. Never give up and keep following your dreams. The sky's the limit. Love you guys. Charlie Betts. Lucas Orden. Lucas plans to continue playing hockey for his hometown Chilliwack Chiefs while working towards a scholarship in the next few years. Lucas Orden. <laughs> Ella Broadbent. Ella will be attending the University of the Fraser Valley to pursue a Bachelor of Arts degree. Ella Broadbent. Ethan Bussinger. Ethan would like to thank Mrs. Rael and Mr. Alexander for pushing him to pursue his goals and aspirations. Ethan Bussinger. Marvel Crane. Marvel plans to attend UFB in the fall and obtain her Bachelor of Science degree. Marvel Crane. Amy Chorba. Amy plans to attend UFB and pursue a career in nursing. She thanks her teachers and her parents for always believing in her and never giving up on her. Amy Chorba. Alexa Curry. Alexa plans to get a Bachelor of Science degree with a major in biology. This will lead to a career as a radiation therapist. Alexa Curry. Amy Daker. Amy plans to live a long and happy life. She would like to thank her family for always supporting her. Amy Daker. Emma Dallas. Emma is grateful to be done high school and is thankful for everyone who supported her. Emma Dallas. Sharon Denton. Sharon would like to give thanks to her family and friends for their undying love and support during this journey and to the GW Graham for helping her find herself. Sharon Denton. <laughs> Kira Dirksen. Kira will be attending the University of British Columbia to obtain a Bachelor of Science degree and pursue a career in medicine. Kira Dirksen. Isha Dutt. Isha intends to guide others by obtaining a Bachelor of Social Work degree. Isha Dutt. Adam and CISO. Adam thanks everyone who supported him through his high school years. Adam and CISO. Josh Flores. Josh intends to get his Bachelor of Arts in History at UFB, leading to his dream job of becoming a teacher. Joshua Flores. Grayson Frick. Grayson is planning on attending the University of Waterloo and would like to thank all his family, friends, and teachers that supported him through throughout high school. Grayson Frick. Trent 
Trey Frost. Trey will be studying business at the University of the Fraser Valley. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I love you guys. <laughs> Kennedy Hall. Kennedy plans to attend Trinity Western University in the fall and later transfer to UBC to complete her degree in dietetics. She would like to thank her teachers, coaches, and most importantly, her parents for the never-ending support and encouragement shown over the years. Kennedy Hall. <laughs> Logan Hall. Logan would like to give a very special thanks to all of his close friends for helping him get through high school. Logan Hall. Aaron Hansen. Aaron intends to get her Bachelor of Science degree in nursing at UFB and looks forward to her dream career as a nurse. Aaron Hansen. Grace Herzog. Grace plans to become an electrician with a specialty in renewable energy. Grace Herzog. Annika Hinton. Annika would like to thank her teachers for helping her succeed in her academic goals. Annika Hinton. Jalice Holiday. Jalice is planning to attend UVic and obtain her degree in history. Jalice Holiday. I would now like to welcome Ms. Kim Hancock to the stage to read the next set of grad anecdotes. Hannah Hubert. Upon graduating, Hannah plans to travel and attend the University of the Fraser Valley in the fall. Hannah Hubert. <laughs> Amina Kadir. Amina would like to thank her family and friends for pushing her to achieve her goals in life. Amina Kadir. Chan Kim. Chan would like to thank his parents in Korea for supporting him. He has really enjoyed his six years in Canada. Chan Kim. <laughs> Brianne Major. Brianne will be attending Thompson River Universities and studying sciences. Brianne Major. Mackenzie Major. Mackenzie will be attending university for a chemical engineering degree. Mackenzie Major. <laughs> Mitchell Middlemas. Mitchell plans to fulfill his athletic scholarship at UBC and study commerce. Mitchell Middlemas. Austin Newhook. Austin intends to get her Bachelor of Science degree in nursing at UFE and eventually wants to become a nurse practitioner. Austin Newhook. <laughs> Munur Nizam. Munur plans to get her Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology from UFE, leading to a career as a child and youth psychologist. Manur Nizam. Lauren Obermeyer. Lauren would like to thank her friends 
family and teachers for always encouraging her throughout her years at GW Graham, Lauren Obermeyer. <laughs> Dawson Peters. Dawson intends to get his Bachelor of Business Administration degree at UFE while continuing his baseball career at the collegiate level. Dawson Peters. Anissa Quinton. Anissa plans to get her English degree in pursuit of becoming a teacher, and she also wishes to become an author one day. Anissa Quinton. <laughs> Zaley Rogina. Zaley plans on taking a gap year to start a side business as a lash technician before going back to school. She thanks her parents and family who always believed in her, even when she didn't believe in herself. Zaley Rogina. <laughs> Aiden Sebeli. Aiden is grateful to be done high school and start his adult life. Aiden Sebeli. Victoria Sloan. Victoria plans to take a year off school to travel with her sister. She would like to thank her family, friends, and many teachers for their constant support and understanding over the years. Victoria Sloan. <laughs> Katie Smart. Katie says a big thank you to all the teachers and staff at GW Graham. Katie Smart. <laughs> Savannah Sermon. Savannah would like to thank all of her friends, family, and teachers for their support throughout her high school career. Savannah Sermon. <laughs> Jada Thomas. Jada is taking flight pursuing a CTI degree leading to her dream career of being an air traffic controller. Jada Thomas. <laughs> Dryden Weatherby. Dryden would like to thank his family and friends for supplying him with endless support throughout high school. Dryden Weatherby. Caden Weiss. Caden is excited to see what his future holds for him. Caden Weiss. <laughs> Trinity White. Trinity gives a huge thank you to Ms. Cotu, Mr. Longhurst, and Ms. Goss for making her enjoy coming to school, as well as Ms. Wiseman and Ms. Willock for basically holding her hand throughout her entire senior year. Trinity White. <laughs> Lathan Wilson. Lathan will be returning to Manitoba this summer and is looking forward to whatever life holds for him. Lathan Wilson. <laughs> Jin Yu. Jin says, I'd like to thank my family and friends for always being by my side and supporting me. Love you guys. Jin Yu. I would now like to welcome Mr. Matt Holford back to the stage to read the next set of grad anecdotes. Tristan Arbor. Tristan plans to get their electronic certificate to lead into a career in the tech industry. They would also like to do art and animation on the side. Tristan Arbor. Marshall Baker. Marshall would like to thank everyone who supported him along the way. 
including Mom, Mr. Cameron, and Michelle. Marshall Baker. Jalen Bergeron. Jalen thanks her parents for spending many evenings helping her at the kitchen table as she's stressed out about school. Jalen Bergeron. Tanner Beagle. Tanner would like to give a special thanks to the following teachers. Mrs. Hartfield, Mrs. Henderson, Ms. Lumsden, and Mr. Monkman for putting up with him all these years. Tanner Beagle. Logan Bird. Logan would like to thank Mr. Burton and Mr. Longhurst for helping him find a passion for history and all of his family for supporting him the whole time. Logan Bird. Logan Bjorndal. Logan plans on continuing his training in the trades field or enjoying some time working abroad and traveling. Logan Bjorndal. Harrison Bora. Harrison looks forward to pursuing a career in trades. Harrison Bora. Benjamin Boucher. Ben intends to get his red seal in carpentry at UFB, leading to his dream of being a full-time carpenter. Benjamin Boucher. Zachary Boucher. Zach intends to keep going to university after his RCP course is finished to get his Red Seal ticket. Zachary Boucher. Brandon Ron. Brandon would like to thank Mr. Holford for his never ending support and encouragement. His belief in Brandon will have a lifelong lasting impact. Brandon Ron. <laughs> Madison Breslin. Madison plans to attend UFB in the fall to become a teacher and would like to travel in the future. Madison Breslin. <laughs> Rebecca Briggs. Rebecca plans to attend post-secondary to become a teacher. She thanks her family, friends, and teachers for always being there for her. Rebecca Briggs. <laughs> Logan Buckwitz. Logan will attend SFU on a football scholarship and pursue general studies. He wants to thank Mortson, Folka, Ms. Chernoff, and his parents. Logan Buckwitz. Joshua Karen. Josh would like to thank his parents and all his previous teachers for getting him to this point in his life. Joshua Karen. <laughs> Charlie Kolibaba. Charlie would like to thank his friends and family for their support. Charlie Kolibaba. Tegan Council. Tegan shares a quote, all that stands between the graduate and the top of the ladder is the ladder. Tegan Council. <laughs> Tana Cowton. Tina intends to get her Bachelor of Child and Youth Care degree, leading to a long and fulfilling career working with children. Tana Cowton. <laughs> Sam Day. 
Sam plans to attend UFB and get his Bachelor of Arts degree in history, leading to a career as an archivist. Sam Day. <laughs> Keely Dissa. Keely is planning to spend the rest of her year in Belize for a traveling experience. Keely Dissa. Isabel Diebel. Isabel plans to pursue a degree in counseling or psychology and continue to explore her passion for art. Isabel Diebel. Evan Diddy. Evan intends to go to the University of Victoria to get his degree and become a teacher. Evan Diddy. Mikasa Drysdale. Mikasa thanks Mr. Fultz for inspiring her love of acting and she, and she plans to pursue a career in film. Mikasa Drysdale. <laughs> Allison Eldridge. Allison would like to thank her family for the endless amount of support. Thank you for always being there. Allison Eldridge. <laughs> Ethan Enns. Ethan intends to get his red seal in welding at UFE Trades and Technology Center, leading to his dream job of being a hyperbaric welder. Ethan Enns. <laughs> Baron Fox. Baron is glad to be done school, and he looks forward to whatever life holds for him in the future. Baron Fox. <laughs> Kai Goff. Kai would like to thank his parents for all their hard work and support to get him to this point in his life. Kai Goff. Mackenzie Greenhow. Mackenzie says, I'm not usually one for speeches, so goodbye. Mackenzie Greenhow. John Grenier. John thanks his family, friends, teachers, and everyone who helped him out so that he could cross the stage today. John Grenier. Elisa Gusakova. Elisa intends to receive a Bachelor of Business Administration degree at Simon Fraser University, which will lead to a career as a financial manager. Elisa Gusakova. <laughs> Abby Hall. Abby would like to thank her parents for all the support they gave her through this crazy school year. She also thanks Mr. Holford for putting up with her brattiness since grade seven. Abby Hall. <laughs> Meadow Halligan. Meadow would like to thank Ms. Whitlam and Mr. Pastorchik for never giving up on her and pushing her to succeed. Meadow Halligan. Eric Hartwig. Eric is currently completing his welding foundations and is looking forward to restoring classic cars and playing bass guitar professionally. Eric Hartwig. <laughs> Kaylee Holford. Kaylee has recently signed on with Creative Arts Agency, rep by Alex Rice, and looks forward to a career as an author. She will be attending UFE for a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, and she thanks her family, friends, teachers, especially Ms. Dick, for their support. Kaylee Holford. <laughs> Stephen Politsky. Stephen would like to thank his family 
for helping him pursue his passion in cars and the automotive world. Stephen Holitsky. Michael Hopwood. Michael Hopwood is planning on going to UFE. Michael would like to thank his parents for the continued support throughout his high school experience. Michael Hopwood. <laughs> Nishela Isaac. Nishela hopes to become an elementary teacher, hopefully in kindergarten. She thanks her parents and the Holfords for believing in her and supporting her, even through math. Nishela Isaac. Dacoma James Saul. Dacoma would like to thank his family and friends for supporting and never giving up on him. Dacoma James Saul. <laughs> Emma Jansen. Emma wants to thank the rugby team and coaches for helping her find a sport she loves. Emma Jansen. I would now like to welcome Ms. Christy Cotu back to the stage to read the final set of grad anecdotes. Dawson Kalavig. Dawson is looking forward to working in the fisheries. He thanks his parents for their support and his friends for making school so fun. Dawson Kalavig. Justin Kennedy. Justin would like to thank Miss Dick, Mr. McGregor, and all his teachers for inspiring him to continue his post-secondary studies in math and chemistry. Justin Kennedy. <laughs> Daniel King. Daniel wants to go to university and earn his degree to help his community in the justice system. Daniel King. Ben Kravak. Ben thanks everyone in his life who helped him get through high school and is excited to see what his future holds. Ben Kravak. <laughs> Weebin Liang. Weebin would like to thank Mr. Batty for helping him with his academics and troubles. Thanks for never scolding me, he says. Weebin Liang. Sierra Lunin Bramwell. Sierra says, thank you to all of my teachers and family for helping me get to where I am today. Sierra Lunin Bramwell. <laughs> Sydney Ma. Sydney would like to thank all of her basketball coaches and her parents for helping her achieve her dreams. Sydney Ma. Sarah Malakani. Sarah says, I can't believe it's already over. Sarah Malakani. Adam Malloway. Adam thanks his family and friends for all the help along the way. And he'd like to give a special thanks to Mr. Fast for being his favorite elementary teacher. Adam Malloway. Alicia Matheson. Alicia will be playing volleyball at CBC. She'd like to thank her parents for all of their love and support over the years. Alicia Matheson. Aiden McAlpine. Aiden tends to get his Bachelor of Computer Science at UFE and pursue a career in computer programming. Aiden McAlpine. Sierra McAvoy. Sierra thanks her family, friends, and teachers for helping her get to this point in her life. She can't wait for the next chapter. Sierra McAvoy. <laughs> Ms. 
Emma McIntosh. Emma thanks her family and friends for helping her accomplish all of her goals. Emma McIntosh. <laughs> Tobias Moisa Papers. Tobias thanks his family for all their support throughout his high school career. Tobias Moisa Papers. <laughs> Kelsey Nunes. Kelsey looks forward to a long and happy life and a career that she loves. Kelsey Nunes. Praveen Pada. Praveen intends to get her Bachelor of Accounting degree at BCIT, which will lead to a career as a chartered professional accountant. Praveen Pada. Nicholas Pask. Nicholas intends to get his primary care paramedic license at the Justice Institute of British Columbia. Nicholas Pask. <laughs> Maya Penarin. Maya is grateful for all of the memories made in her high school years, and she's also thankful for all of the support from her teachers, family, and friends. Maya Penarin. Carter Penner. Carter is proud of his accomplishments and he looks forward to a fulfilling career and pursuing what he loves. Carter Penner. <laughs> Emily Peterson. Emily would like to thank Mr. Fultz, Ms. Hancock, and Catherine and Kelly for always being there for her when she needed them the most. Emily Peterson. Austin Phoenix. Austin plans on starting an apprenticeship as a plumber and pursuing a career in this field. Austin Phoenix. Derek Priest. Derek thanks his parents for always believing in him. Derek Priest. Blake Procuda. Blake intends to attend BCIT to become an electrician and follow his passion in the trades. Blake Procuda. Red Moon Roberts. Red Moon intends to live life to the fullest without taking anything for granted. She looks forward to pursuing her dreams and following her heart. Red Moon Roberts. Tiago Rodriguez. Tiago thanks his family, friends, and teachers for their support. Tiago Rodriguez. Erin Salmon. Erin plans to continue her education at UFV. Erin would like to thank her family and teachers for encouraging her to follow her dreams. Erin Salmon. Sean Santos. Sean would like to thank his parents for supporting him through all of his hardships. Thank you for everything. Sean Santos. Clover Smith. Clover is looking forward to pursuing her passion for psychology in post-secondary, and she hopes to eventually become a therapist. Clover Smith. Caleb Spanner. Caleb plans on attending University of Manitoba next year to pursue a degree in business. Caleb would like to thank his family and Miss Goss for the continuous support and perseverance throughout his high school journey. Caleb Spanner. <laughs> Nolan St. George. Nolan will continue his education at UFE, pursuing his business degree and plans to grow with a business he started in high school. Nolan St. George. Heather Van Hook. 
Heather would like to thank her friends and family for always believing in her. Heather Van Hook. Aaron Valalta Toledo. Aaron thanks God and his family for always leading him down the right path and teaching him important values in life. Aaron Valalta Toledo. Ireland Waddington. Ireland would like to thank her parents for always being supportive of her goals and plans for her future. Thank you for always being there for everything she has ever needed. Ireland Waddington. Kemri Warren. Kemri plans to attend BCIT for architecture in the fall. She would like to thank her mom and dad for always pushing her to succeed. Kemri Warren. Jordan Went. Jordan thanks his family and friends for making high school pretty awesome. Jordan Went. Austin Wilkie. Austin is thankful for all of the teachers who helped him get through his school years, including Stacy, Miss Goss, Mr. Monkman, and Mr. Holford. Special thanks to the principals for making it fun. Austin Wilkie. Matthew Whitaker. Matthew intends to go to university to get a degree in physics so that he can become a pilot. Matthew Whitaker. And now we present the grads who were unable to make this evening's presentation. Thank you. What an amazing group of graduates. It's been an honor to watch our grad class cross the stage to symbolize their passage 
onto their next stage of their life after high school. We are all very proud of each and every one of you. The word valedictorian comes from the Latin phrase valedicere, to say farewell. Representing the graduating class as their valedictorian is a great honor. This responsibility is bestowed upon an individual who is chosen by their fellow classmates to deliver a parting address on their behalf. To give the valedictorian address to the graduating class of 2021, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Curtis Penner. Good afternoon, friends, families, parents, and teachers of the class of 2021, or good morning, or good evening, depending on when you're watching this. I'm sure you could already tell that this year's graduation is going to be a little bit different. I'm not able to see too many bright faces in the crowd, but instead just the camera or two there. It's weird to think that this school year is already coming to an end. The octets with classes such as theater and band go so quickly, and the classes such as calculus or AP English, maybe not so much. But for the most part, it was nice only having to focus on one class at a time. Though I have no idea how some of you managed to do PE for six hours a day with a mask on. Did rugby become just get within six feet, or how did that work? Uh, it certainly took a while to get adjusted to the new rules, but we've all finally made it. And I hope you're all as excited as I am for the next chapter in our lives. And hopefully our futures will become a bit less chaotic going forward. I've been extremely fortunate to have so many close people around me from every area of the school. Everywhere from the drama department to the art department, from the band classes to the athletic classes, from the academic courses or the trade courses. There are so many kind and supportive people among us. I feel like I can just walk up to anyone in our grad class, people I've never met before, and start a conversation with them. I feel that if I tried to say the names of every student who made a positive impact on my life and the lives of others, <laughs> we'll all be fully vaccinated by the time I get halfway down the list. I get inspired to become a better person just hearing them talk. It's been such a pleasure seeing how we've all progressed and grown as people as well as coming to know new people as they join our classes. And of course, I mean, I guess we have a few good teachers. I'm <laughs> teachers who have clear interests in what they're doing and the subjects that they're teaching. I've, high school was no cakewalk, but I've never had a teacher that made me feel like I was just their job to work with instead of seeing me as an individual. Especially with our current circumstances, every teacher I had this year seemed so understanding and kind and pleasant to work with. Now, I don't have to tell any of you that this year has been challenging. It's definitely been tough, and we've had to miss out on a lot of events that we were looking forward to. Even today, we're only now just approaching the end of the pandemic. Our school did a lot of amazing things this year, such as the beautiful art installations, the large renovations, amazing online band performances, and a full feature-length film from a few of our classmates. But I understand that it's hard to make up for what we missed this year. Today was going to be the day we were going to see everyone together for one last time. And I, like many of you, am disappointed we won't be able to experience that. But despite that, I couldn't be more proud and thrilled to be a part of this grad class. A lot was taken from us, sure, but we carried on. We understood that we were doing this for people we might not even know, people we'll likely never meet. And we accepted this as our new normal with very little complaining or resentment. Others may not have accepted it or would have ignored protocol because they felt like they could. But we were stronger than that. We were braver than that. And we were more determined than that. We treated others with respect all the way through. And for that, I don't care what circumstances we have to graduate in. I'm proud I could be a part of this grad class and I cherish the good times we had together for the rest of my life. I can't say I know what's going to happen in the future, but I do know this. 
Everyone graduating here at GW Graham this year has the potential to do so many great things moving forward. We have the strength to persevere, and we're all capable of putting in the effort to get what we need. We all have the ability to do whatever we want to do. We all have the potential to create new things and the creativity to break the mold in any art form we choose. We all have the compassion and the respect to meet new people who play important roles in our lives. What we do with our lives is entirely determined by the effort we choose to put in. But it's also important to remember to slow down and take a risk once in a while. Nobody wants to find themselves burnt out on something they're interested in. Take some time for yourself to escape, whether that be by traveling the world or by exploring a new project. Understand your limits and don't be afraid to ask others for help. Trust in yourself, keep your head up high, and stay confident. I'd like to thank you all for standing with me and being by my side for the last few years and for choosing me as your valedictorian. I hope everyone has a prosperous and successful future ahead of them. And while life has shown it can get tough, this year we showed that we can be tougher. To the class of 2021, Godspeed. Thank you, Curtis, for speaking on behalf of the class of 2021. What an evening. Again, we would like to thank you for joining us in honoring the class of 2021. Together, we have witnessed a monumental event, one that symbolizes a transition due to a world filled with endless possibility and the opportunity for our graduates to define their identity and leave their mark in history. We wish our graduates a life filled with happiness, opportunity, and success. We are all very proud of you. To all of you joining us tonight, a slot. Good night. <laughs>